This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. Guys, it's 2020 and it's time to organize your life. Get started by getting rid of that small suitcase that you keep in your back pocket. You don't need all those old receipts and library cards anymore. This wallet is much different. It's sleek, industrial, and fits into your front pocket. It is going to change your pocket game. Ridge Wallet holds up to 12 cards, plus all the cash that you're going to need. You can choose from over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. It's the best wallet you can buy. Take my word for it, or you could take the 30,000 five-star reviews and take somebody else's word for it. I was skeptical at first, but once you try it, you're never going to go back to your old wallet. There's no pressure. Test it out for 45 days. If you don't love it, send it back for a full refund. When you decide to keep it, there is a lifetime warranty. Click the link in the description to get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns. Go to ridge.com slash chale. That's ridge.com slash chale and use the promo code chale. Burns is out. Masvidal is in. Gilbert Burns tested positive for COVID, gets pulled from the fight. Masvidal gets tested negative for COVID. Masvidal accepts the fight. I mean, there's so many questions here that I have more than news to report to you. Okay, here's what I would be curious about. What does this mean for Burns? Just for example, what does this mean for Burns? When you have a guy who's uh, ready, willing, but not able to take the fight, he's officially ranked number one in the world. He's won eight of his last nine fights. He was given the fight all the way through a contract, but it's very specific on a date. It's not as though those just, hey, call us another time. Call us when you feel like it. It doesn't work that way, and I'd like to see it work that way for Burns. I think that he did everything right. I would hate to see him punished when we're in a pandemic that is completely outside of his control, and he followed all rules and protocols. I mean, I think you guys would agree with me. That would We would like to know what's going to happen with Burns. And don't forget, even in this uh, strange time that we're in, Kind of the same thing happened with Aldo. I mean, I know it was a flight, but all the same, that title fight was just, okay, we're going to do it again on another day. So let's see where that goes for Burns, but that would be one of my questions. How did that whole thing unfold? And you know, another thing I'd be curious about is how did we get to Masvidal? Was that the very first phone call? Did Masvidal hear about this through the grapevine and Masvidal made the phone call or were there other people that were called? And they turned the fight down, and eventually it landed on Masvidal. I mean, one thing about George Masvidal is he told us that he had a specific value. I mean, I am not speaking out of school. This has been the narrative coming out of his mouth for the last 30 days. Now he's talking about a price. And guess what? Masvidal told the truth. There is really no way for you to quantify what it is you are worth as an athlete more than being an athlete who takes his own career serious enough to be within striking distance of weight, being on shape, and having the courage to go in and do a job. That story will never get old in this industry. That can be your way in as a fighter. I mean, you want the great secret to break it into the industry? Be ready. Be willing to do a job that nobody else is willing to do. That is the great secret to breaking in and getting your first contract. You want a main event spot or a world title fight? The great secret? Be ready. When they call you, be ready. And I really don't know that that's all that. I don't know that we should have to celebrate Masvidal for this. We do have to celebrate him because apparently he is one of the few guys that understands this concept. So he deserves credit, but should he get credit for that? Wouldn't it seem as though if you were a professional fighter, you only had to do two things, practice and show up and compete? When that opportunity presents itself, I mean, don't, don't you think that a guy should have to do that? But it's, for some reason, the lost lesson. And Masvidal is reminding of, it, of this. Masvidal had some dollar figure in mind. I don't know what that was. And I don't know how he was going to prove he was worth it. Well, as far as I'm concerned, he just did. He absolutely just proved it. And by the way, what happens to Masvidal if he loses his fight? is taking the fight on six days' notice, flying around the world. I think he said he was 22 pounds overweight. He's got to make scratch weight. That would put him at 192 pounds. 
He's going to have to fly. He's going to have to acclimate. He's going to have to get that weight off. He's going to have to walk out there against the baddest dude in the world, in front of the world. I mean, we're asking a lot of things right now of George Masvidal, and he said yes. I think that there's a, a very clear message in this that we've been taught and taught again. I mean, we were just taught it by Gilbert Burns, raising his hand and saying, I'm ready. Now we were taught it by George Masvidal, raising his hand and saying, I'm ready. But there seems to be something here, and I would be very curious if Masvidal got that first phone call. I imagine this is a story we would never be told. If somebody else was called and turned the fight down, I imagine we would never be told. And I wouldn't fault that person to take on Kamara Usman and to, to act as though you should at least be able to make the weight, have a couple of good workouts in before you do it. I understand all those things. It's a very good argument. Nobody would be punished if they weren't called. But somebody will be rewarded, and that is the somebody who answered his phone, who said he was ready, who said he was in camp, who said he could make weight on a moment's notice and said he will fight anybody. He just wants X amount to do it. Okay, fine. If you're telling the truth and all of those things pencil out, you're not trying to get an easy fight behind the scenes. George Masvidal got called out. George Masvidal told the truth. 